Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're in the south shore of Montreal. We're taking a look at this 2011 Mercedes. That's the E350, it's the wagon. I'm starting with a walk around just to show you the uh, overall condition of the vehicle. As you can see, it's the 4Matic. Um, I have a couple of things to highlight. I don't know if you can see it probably in the video already. You can see some damage here. And uh, on the corners, basically, there. You can also see that the car is running on winter tires. These uh, are Pirelli's winters. The car has been parked uh, for a while, so when I came to it to turn it on for the first time, the rear end was uh, bottomed out and it showed a sign on the dash saying that vehicle is rising, please wait. Um, but you can see that it is at the proper height now. Again, here we have a little bit of damage there too. You probably noticed the rear uh, wheel center cap. I think it was on the uh, passenger side. Yep, it's on the passenger side, so you can see it here. Okay. It's got the panoramic roof. And this is the seven seater. You can see a ding there. So this doesn't close for some reason, not sure why. Um, the rest of the mechanism works. I did check, uh, I checked the opening and closing of um, the cover. I'm just trying to get it past the uh, seat belts. There you go. I'm putting it there for a purpose, for a reason. Uh, you'll see why shortly. The wheel locks keys are here. I did fold the seats in the back just to show. I've taken a lot of pictures of the car already. It's got the shades in the back. These are the all-weather floor mats. Everything is nice here in the back seats. A little bit of uh, scratches. Seems like there was a, either a child seat installed from the sign here. I can probably guess it is a child seat. You can see some wear on the You basically just take a look here and you'll see some scratches. Sorry, I'm just trying to get you to the right angle right there. You'll see the deep scratches on the on the seat um, on the anchor points. Yeah, you see it on both sides. So that's probably why you have some some scratches here. A couple of comments on the car. It seems like it has some degradation in the wood trim. I'll show you what I mean. So you see this is how it was most likely when it was new. That's how it became. You can see it again here versus here. There's a damage to the seat here. I mean, a few things. 
the seats did move automatically when I uh, actuated um, the rear seats to fold. The car comes with two keys. It's got the navigation uh, in terms of mileage. I'll just give you the mileage in a second. Just trying to remove this. Basically, just to test the key, make sure that it is working. Put it upside down. Oops. There you go. Mileage on the car is ninety-five. 1459 this is after the test drive we've already taken it for a test drive so comments on the um, test drive just a few comments All right, so this doesn't fold correctly. It's loose on the driver's side only. There is a major brake fluid leak and it's happening right there. I did take pictures. I've taken a lot of pictures of the car. Um, I'll, I'll take a few pictures of the undercarriage as well. under the hood I'll show you quickly the car does with uh, come with the Harman Kardon stereo so under the hood these pieces here are missing other than that I don't see anything major fan belt condition is good I checked the battery the battery is new it was actually just replaced check the coolant check the oil for quality power steering fluid brake fluid is at minimum understandably so uh, because of the leak the dealer mentioned that they will be taking a look at the uh, leak to see if they can do something about it. You can see the air filter through, it's clean. Okay. So a couple of things to do before we uh, finalize. Uh, we're gonna take the car, we're gonna do a computer scan quickly before the dealership closes, which I'm told is in about five minutes. Basically, the car is in uh, reasonable shape, acceptable, I would say, but the brake fluid leak, and other than that, all just included in the report. As mentioned earlier, I've taken a lot of pictures. You'll find them in the description section, wherever you're watching this. And uh, this is Vincent Ann from Car Inspected. And that was a 2011 Mercedes C350. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.